there was an old football coach from the deep south who had to recruit a player up north. It was during the winter season. This coach had never recruited in the snow. He was recruiting in Pennsylvania. There was a nor'easter that blew in. His car got stuck in the snow. He had to sign this young quarterback or he would lose his job. His car is unable to move. He gets out and there's nothing from out but one farmhouse. He walks to the door, knocks on the door, and a man comes with suspenders and a beard, and he says, may I help you? He says, yes, sir. I'm a football coach from Alabama. I got to sign this young man to my school. If I don't do it, I'm going to get fired. Could you help me? You got a tractor or a truck that can pull me out? The old farmer says, I'm sorry, this is a retired farmer. Everything's been sold off, and we have nothing here. My wife's in Miami waiting me for retirement. We sold everything we had. There's nothing left. He said, please, sir, I'm begging you. I need your help. Do you have anything that can help me? He said, well, I got one animal that nobody wanted. He's an old mule named Gus. Now, Gus is no prize. Gus is blind, mangy, broke down, arthritic reeking flesh hits his nostrils and once his eyes clear of the pain in the water he sees this deformed creature with most of its fur gone thick thick cataract, cataracts around the eyes mouth frothing and foam knuckles swollen he said this is Gus he said it looks like Eeyore on crack horrible looking thing they got the old mule up and took him out to the car and put a harness on him and the farmer said, now you sit in the car and wait. I'm going to get old Gus motivated. So I want to see this one. So the farmer sat on the hood of the car and had a whip. And he took his whip out and he said, let's go, Moses. Let's go, Daniel. Let's go, Joshua. And let's go, David. And nothing happened. And the coach got it. Oh, okay. I got a crazy broke down farmer and a crazy broke down mule. We're all going to die out here in the snow. And the farmer said, okay, son, put your seatbelt on. He said, okay, click. And the farmer put on his whip now and said very softly, come on, Gus. About that time. And Gus heard his name like he heard a thousand times before. His ears perked up. And Gus began muscles popped out everywhere. He felt the weight of the car as he had felt weights for hundreds of years, it seemed like. And he steadied himself and got a sense of his bearings. He couldn't see, but he could feel. And with one pull, he popped the car. Almost so that the coach got a whiplash. He was amazed, shocked, surprised. He got out the car and he was so happy and thankful he grabbed the farmer and kissed him and the man's hat fell off and he thought to grab the mule but he just touched him. And he said, I'm kind of confused, coach said to the farmer. I, I have to go, but please help me understand. Why did you call all those other names out? I don't understand it. He said, I told you, son, Gus is blind, broke down, and mangy. If he thought for one minute he had to pull the car out by himself, we never would have got it done. <laughs> this is the key. Sometimes you're going to feel like Gus. You can't see where you're going. You feel mangy, broke down. You don't know what's happening. Remember. As a community, we have come over on different ships, but we're in the same boat now. We have to learn to work together as friends or perish as fools. The world is waiting for us to get our act together, to become one body in one mind. The money is there. I'm going to get mine, and I'll see you at the very top. Let's get it done. God bless. Hi, my name is Thea Sullivan and I'm with Bank Atlantic. 
I just want to let everyone know the seminar was fantastic and I recommend that everyone sees it. As a business banker for Bank Atlantic, this seminar will help me to help my customers. So I recommend you see the seminar, you get the CD, you share it with your friends. Thank you. I think this uh, seminar was an excellent idea and it is my belief that we should be teaching our children, exposing our children to Dr. Archer because they're the ones that are going to be the leaders of tomorrow and this was an excellent, excellent seminar to have information given to them to let them understand that they live in a global world and they're going to have to be able to compete in that world. So it was an excellent seminar. Tell you what, I really enjoyed Dr. Archer's seminar. Very, very informal, very motivational, basically. I was dealing with some eternal situations of myself as far as what I wanted to do as far as branching out with my business and understanding some of the economic uh, issues that we are facing now on this, on, on this planet. And he really did an excellent job of opening my eyes and enlightening me on some of the things that I need to do with my business as well. So, I mean, that was a fantastic seminar. Even though it was only a portion of a seminar, I'm looking very much forward to him having another one. Hi, my name is Sylvia Raymond, and I attended the seminar this morning with Dr. Ron Archer. I found it to be very informative, and I wasn't even aware of all the situation that was going on with the global condition. And I'm so thankful that I attended because this wiped my horizon as a person that is in business and also in the healthcare industry. The name of my company is Avia Care Incorporated. This is a nurse's registry. And uh, the world is at our feet and we are ex expecting to expand our business over into the Caribbean. So I'm very thankful for what I received today. I think that the program that Dr. Archer displayed today was just magnificent. I've also heard it once before on one of the talk shows and he blew me away then, but today it was just a totally different experience and I think he's very wonderful. Thank you. Hi, my name is Marlon John. This is my daughter, Crystal John, and uh, we work at Buccaneer. And uh, we just came out of the, uh, the seminar presented by Dr. Ron Archer, and I must tell you, it was a wonderful experience. I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to bring my daughter for her to hear some positive and enlightening information. And uh, if you haven't had the opportunity to listen to Dr. Ron Archer speak, you don't know what you're missing. I had an awesome experience at this seminar. I really felt that not only was Dr. Archer making presentation on, on key elements of being a leader, which can transpire from your business to your community group to, uh, to, uh, to most anything that you do, but one thing that I got out of it, and it just stays in my mind, and that is that any step that you take now is a down, down payment for your destiny, and I like that. Yeah, I'm Derek Barry, the CEO of Buccaneer Mortgage, and I just uh, want to say about this seminar that Dr. Archer put on. It was phenomenal. It was enlightening, and it's really giving people a, di a di direction to go as far as their economic future. And I think it's so important that we understand how this world is coming together as a global entity, and we need to understand this to move forward in our own lives. And I really appreciated everything that he brought to the table. It was a phenomenal job, and everybody that I know of really enjoyed it you know so again i like to just thank everybody for attending but to invite others to come and attend with the other shows because he did a phenomenal job so dr archer is just simply phenomenal thank you i'm so glad you enjoyed watching our series on hall to overcome storms and transcending the challenges in your life you're not alone we have come over on different ships we're in the same boat now Next time, we're dealing with how to grow your business in the global economy in Asia and in Africa and in Latin America. This is just the beginning. We're going to work together through this series to empower you, authority, input, resources, and accountability to be the best you you can be because you are here by divine design to shine. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching and enjoy how to achieve peak performance under peak pressure and overcoming your storms.